So what we need to do first is go and get a list of our members. And what we're going to do is we're first of all going to go to our member list component. And what we want to do inside here, well, first of all, we'll create a property to store the members. So we'll say members and we'll just say this is a type of member array. And of course, because we're using types now, the only thing that we can store inside here is an array of members. Nothing else will cut it. So what we'll do is we'll inject the service and we'll say private and we'll call it member service and we'll bring in the members service and inside here we'll create a method called load members and what we'll do is we'll say member service dot get members and then we'll subscribe because it's an observable that we're returning from this we need to subscribe and then we'll pass in our members and we'll say list.members equals members and I'm not going to bother doing any error handling from this method because we've taken care of that inside our error interceptor so let's take advantage of that fact and what we'll do on the initialization is we'll just load up our members so let's go and take a look at this stage before we add the user interface let's go to our browser and see the effects of this so what we need to do we'll go across to our browser and just refresh the page and we'll need to log in as one of our users so I'm just going to log in as Lisa and type in the password and press return and it looks like we've got a problem straight away it's telling us that we're unauthorized and let's go and take a look and see what this is complaining about so in our server we've got the 401 unauthorized of course we've been notified about this problem and we're not logging out the error in this case so let's go and take a look at the network tab and refresh the page so we're going to our users and this time it worked and we're getting a list of our users back uh-huh that's interesting so I'm just going to clear the network tab I'll go across to our messages and go back and it works and if I refresh the page then I can only say that that was a blip in the matrix because if I can't reproduce the error then there's no error to to resolve but let's just try and log out again and repeat the behavior that I did before so what we'll do is we'll just clear the network tab and then we'll log in so I'll log in as Lisa and we'll add the password and press return and again we didn't get the error anyway if you do see an error here it's going to be a temporary thing because what we're not doing at the moment is really dealing with sending up our tokens in an effective way so if I refresh the page it kind of works we see the users if I go to another component clear the network tab go back again we still get the users and I'm unable to repeat the behavior I saw before so we'll accept this as working okay for the time being and what we'll do is we'll go to our member list templates and what we want to do is display the list of users on the page itself so what we'll do we'll say div class of row and then we'll say div dot column of two which means each one of these users is going to take up two columns on the page and bootstrap uses a 12 column grid so that means we'll have six users in a row or at least we will do for now we're just going to display them in a paragraph tag so they'll all be in a line and what we'll do is we'll use the ng4 so we'll use a snippet and say a dash ng4 and we'll say let member of members and then inside the paragraph we can use interpolation and what we'll do we'll just display the member dot known as but what we see inside here now is we see all of the intellisense and autocomplete opportunities we have inside here thanks to TypeScript so we can display a list of our member known as names and if we go back to the browser then we can see them inside there and if I refresh the page still works if I go to another component go back still works hmm I really don't know why I had a unauthorized error there so if you do have that error then what you would need to do is go and take a look and inspect your network tab and refresh so you can see the details of the request in the headers what we're doing because we're sending up the token here 
We're making a request to HTTPS localhost 5001 users. And what we want to see is in the authorization header, our bearer token. Now we're just fishing this out of local storage. So if you don't see something in there like this, then what you would want to do is go to your application and make sure you have that token inside there. Obviously spelling is important, etc. What I want to do though is go back to the member service because we can't guarantee that we've always got this token. And I'm just going to add the optional chaining operator onto this. And I'm just going to refresh the page, make sure that hasn't broken anything. And we're good to go. We can still see all of our users. We don't have any errors in the console. So what we'll take a look at next is giving these a bit of style so that we can display them as cards on our page. And we'll take a look at that next. Okay, now that we've confirmed that we can receive our list of users, what we're going to take a look at now is creating a component to store the member objects in. So we'll go back to VS Code and what we'll do is just open up the terminal and we'll CD upper level and then CD back into our members folder. And inside here, what we'll do is we'll say NGGC and we're going to create member-card and we're going to skip the tests and press return and that's created successfully so i'll just clean up the tabs at the top and what we want to do here is we want to go into our member card component itself and i'll just open up the member list template once again and the idea of what we're going to be doing here is for each one of these members we're going to be displaying this member card component inside which means we're going to be passing one of the members or each member is going to be passed into one of these member cards and then we're going to be displaying these cards over there. So what we need inside this member card component is an input property because we're going to be receiving this data from its parent which is the member list component. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an input property and we're going to call it member which is going to be a type of member. And then what we'll do, we'll head over to the template, so we'll say member card component HTML. And inside here, what we're going to use is a bootstrap class that's called a card. And we'll say div.card, and we'll give it some margin at the bottom of 4. So we'll say mb-4. And then inside here, what we'll do, we'll give it a class that we're going to use to add a bit of styling shortly. So we're going to call this class card-image-wrapper and inside here we're going to display the user's photo so the source what we'll do we'll add the member.photo url and then we can add the alternate property and we'll just say member.nonas and we'll give this some class and this is going to be a bootstrap class and we're going to say card-image-top. So the image is going to be at the top of the card that we're creating. Then we'll, below this div, we'll say div.card-body. And we'll give this some padding around it and we'll say p-1 to add padding all around the card. And then inside here we'll say h6 and give this a class of card-title and we'll say text-center and we'll give it some margin at the bottom of one and inside here we'll test out our icons and we'll add an icon tag and we'll give this a class equal to fa for font awesome and we're going to say fa-user and give it margin right of two and to the right of the icon, but still inside the h6 tag, we're going to say member.nonas. And underneath the h6, we'll add another paragraph. And we'll give this a class and say card-text and text-muted and text-center. And we're just going to add the member.city inside here and then what we can do is we can take our member cards and go to our member list component and what we'll do is we'll move up the loop that we've got inside here so we'll cut the ng4 and we'll paste it inside the div above with the class of column dash two 
and instead of the paragraph here what we'll do is we'll display our app member card and we're going to pass down the member as an input property so we're going to say member equals member and if we go and take a look now that we have this in place what we should find is that we've got our member cards and if I refresh the page then I get to see the photos inside there and we can see our list of members and our member cards not too bad but we'll make some styling improvements to these cards and just show a few tricks about what we can do with CSS to make these feel a bit more interactive.